Hi, I'm Steve Bigger, Director of Equity Research for S&P Capital IQ. Welcome to this week's edition of Equity Analyst Forum. With me today on Equity Analyst Forum is biotechnology analyst Steve Silver. Steve, welcome to the program. It's great to be here. So this week's focus stock of the week is Gilead Sciences. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a bit about the company? Sure. Uh, well, Gilead is a large cap biotechnology company, and it's been best known over the past decade for being the market leader in HIV drugs. Mm -hmm. um, so the company, we're expecting about $10 billion in sales this year from the company, about 80% or so coming from HIV. So it's really been focused or concentrated on HIV um, to this point. Uh, however, we see future growth from Gilead coming from hepatitis C, which is a, a disease state that they got into through an acquisition in late 2011. Mm -hmm. um, and the data uh, that's come out over the past 18 months or so, we think positions them to be a leader um, in the uh, hepatitis C market. And we see multi-billion dollar sales potential for this program. Mm -hmm. um, and a little further down the road, we also see them building a very nice uh, cancer uh, franchise which we think can further diversify the story over time. Mm -hmm. How about the industry drivers? Uh, and how is Gilead in the industry uh, performing right now? Well, Gilead's been doing very well. Uh, stock is up over 40% year to date. Uh, this on the heels of an 80% move last year. Mm -hmm. And that's very impressive for a large cap name like that. Um, and the uh, overall biotech industry has been uh, up about 30 40% over that same time period. Mm -hmm. uh, so Gilead has outperformed. And we attribute a lot of that to the positive sentiment on the hepatitis C uh, program. Mm -hmm. uh, but broader speaking, the uh, biotech industry has been doing very well uh, because uh, companies like Gilead have uh, reported great news uh, from diseases like hepatitis C and some other ones that uh, have great market potential after a few down years um, commercial-wise. Um, and also we see a very accommodative FDA that's approving drugs in 2012 at a 15-year high rate uh -huh. and is also introducing new programs like breakthrough therapy designations uh, hoping to uh, move along promising programs through the industry pipeline. Mm -hmm. How about valuation? So how are you valuing a stock like this? Uh, what's mm -hmm. your target price and how much upside? All right. Well, we currently have a $67 target price on Gilead, uh, and that's a, uh, about a 35 times multiple on our 2013 estimate mm -hmm. of a 192. Um, that represents about a 1.4 times peg, which is a little bit of a premium to its industry peers. Mm -hmm. Uh, however, looking ahead to 2014, when we expect growth to accelerate for Gilead, mm -hmm. uh, we note that the PEG ratio is closer to 1.0. Mm -hmm. uh, so we think the valuation remains compelling, and we think there's a lot to like. Okay. How about risks? What would you highlight there? Sure. Well, I think there's always inherent risks whenever you invest in biotech companies. Uh, certainly in, in Gilead's case, we think a lot of their valuation reflects a positive outcome of getting approvals and a successful launch to this hepatitis C franchise. Mm -hmm. So any stumbles there, either in clinical data, FDA delays, um, could be negative. Uh, but just by and large, uh, maintaining a safety profile over time can, uh, can be a risk factor. Mm -hmm. But we think that those are more inherent to the uh, overall industry. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks, Steve. Great. And that's been this week's edition of Equity Analyst Forum. We'll see you again next week.